my name is Gracie Gutierrez. Um, this is for History 1301 SP3 for Professor Kennedy for extra credit. And the presentation I attended was The Maine's Daughter by Dr. May Romero. It was on Wednesday, September 26, 2012. My first example is in the research that Dr. Mary Romero did. Um, she talks about household, housework being viewed as valueless and unskilled jobs. Um, even some people that hire employers um, in, do, in the domestic jobs say that it's just an act of charity for them because many of them are undocumented people. And it's just very sad, very unreasonable, very heartless of them to say such thing. And also other people say it's labor of love. Um, no, it's not, for, as the way she explained it and stuff. And you have to look at this. I mean, moms and dads are working all day long, mowing, mowing lawns and cleaning other people's houses, taking care of other people's children, and coming home and not even having time for the, their lives and their children. And this is very important, the children. Um, they basically are doing adult work. Um, they clean. They cook for their younger siblings, and they're helping their mothers and fathers and stuff, and they're just not being children as they should be, and it's very important, and this is basically where the, what the book is about, children, the voice of them, especially through a young girl, which is Olivia, which comes to my second example. Well, um, she and her mother live with Mr. and Mrs. Smith, um, their employers, in a very exclusive um, community environment with whites in LA. Um, her mom gets a tumor and she is hospitalized during the summer for about a month. And basically this is when uh, Olivia creates a relationship with their, um, with uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And this is where the question about um, relationships comes up. Um, should the relationship be the same as employer to um, employee or should it just be the maid's daughter to the employer, and it's very difficult for her, and this is where the concept of passing, because they start teaching her about um, values, ladylike values, and just the whites are teaching her, and um, this is and this is where the concept of passing comes in, and it's a form of resistance, and for example, sometimes she would go to country clubs, and they would, and at the end she would say, by the way, I'm the maid's daughter, and so people would just react to it, because they're all white and they're not used to this. And also, um, she refused in participating in any, um, in making the maids invisible and anything that, that um, linked to that. Um, she tried to stay true to her identity, and that's very important. That's, she, um, Dr. Romero says that a lot, um, basically about Olivia. So, yeah, this, this all links all these exam these two examples link to the struggling in the, in the American dream. I mean, it may seem simple, but it is very difficult, especially for an adolescent like o Olivia. And yes, these are my examples. So the next question is what I learned from the presenter, which is Dr. Romero. Well, I learned that she is a daughter of a domestic worker. Um, she has a major in sociology, but her book is more of an anthropology kind of book. And so it was also a learning experience for her. Um, she met the real Olivia. By the way, that's not her name. Um, at first, she just talked to her, and then she decided to write a book about this because she thought it was a good idea. And this took a course of 20 years. Very interesting. Um, also, her book is in order of events. Um, this was the only way that made much more sense of putting the stories together because she tried many ways. And, but this also excluded some stories that she couldn't fit into the book because she also said that um, there's a lot of there's much a lot more stories that she couldn't fit in. And so yes, that's what I learned about the author. Um, finally, what I thought about the presentation. Um, the author is very influential. Um, She's also a very motivational person. Um, she just clarifies the truth and opinions about domestic jobs. 
And even though this um, this whole story is in the 1980s around there, um, it's still going on. The whole thing about I'm white, I'm richer, so I'm better than you. And it just doesn't work that way. And people, I mean, things should be more fair. And it just opens your mind. And that's what I like about this, because I like things that open my mind. I, that's my opinion. Well, anyways, um, yeah, I like the presentation, and this will conclude my whole video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's kind of weird talking to a camera. So, okay, bye. <laughs>